Welcome to step two of our frame canvas art. The first thing we're going to do is weed our vinyl. Now I'm going to apply transfer tape to my design so that I can transfer it to the canvas. And I'm going to measure it to find the exact center so I can line it up on my canvas. Here we have our canvas and now I'm measuring my canvas to find the exact center vertically and horizontally. And now I'm going to use the squeegee and apply my vinyl to the directly to the canvas. Here are a couple quick tips for those of you not using a silhouette machine to cut out your design. You can do this really easy and really budget friendly. You don't have to have a fancy machine. So you can buy some simple stickers at the store and use them instead of having vinyl. Uh, one of the ways you're going to line up your letters in a straight line is probably by using a square or a ruler. Squares are a little bit easier. So I know that this line right here can be my first line of text. Just use the pencil to mark it and then I use masking tape. And I just put it right on the line. And then I can just place my stickers right here on top. Super easy. Do the same thing at the bottom to line up your text for both rows. And one of the easy ways to do it, you could actually cut this masking tape in half if you wanted to. This is one inch. Um, and you could do, you could line up your top letters here and your bottom letters here and make it nice and easy to make sure you have straight lines. The other option you have is to purchase a stencil of maybe a saying or an alphabet at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, it's a little bit more difficult when you're using a stencil only because you'd have to draw out each individual letter and it's a, a bit more time consuming, a bit more tedious. Unless you find one that already has a design or a quote that you like on it that's already made that way, you can find some really cool ones online. Um, I've purchased some from the Stencil Smith. They make really good quality stencils. And if that are, is the case, then what you would do is just tape down, use your masking tape, tape down your stencil nice and smooth, make sure it's flush with your surface. And then you're going to use a makeup sponge and put very little paint on the sponge and just dab. Probably do three layers. So one thing I do with a makeup sponge is once I get my paint on there, I'll actually touch on a different surface of my tray to get off excess paint so it doesn't bleed underneath my stencil. And I go over it probably about three times. Now that we have our vinyl attached to our canvas, we're ready to start our first step of the painting process. Now, as you can see, the vinyl doesn't adhere to the canvas very easily. So it has almost like a waxy finish and it's also textured. So one of the things I'm going to do to prevent an excessive amount of bleed, because this is going to be a blue background, I'm going to start with white acrylic paint. And what I'm going to, to do is um, just go over my edges with the white, since it's the same color as my letters will be, so that it almost seals the vinyl on before I start painting with my blue. And then if any bleed happens, it will be white and not blue. Okay, now that I've used the white to seal my letters, it's time to start painting with my colors, my blue colors. So what I'm going to do, and this is just a recycled lid, I try to use them instead of having to buy painting trays, but I'm going to use ocean blue, pale blue, dark blue, storm cloud gray. So I'm going to have several different colors on my lid here and I might mix back and forth to get a color I like, but I'm basically just going to create an oceanscape around it. First thing I'm going to do, 
I'm going to use blue and I'm going to go over each of my letters again because yes the white has sealed it but I also want blue on top of it and I'm going to use more of a small paint brush to do that um, because there are a couple places I can see where my vinyl isn't adhering very well and I'm probably still going to get some bleed. So I'm gently going to go over it in the opposite direction of the vinyl so that hopefully it won't go underneath the vinyl so I'm going to go outward. Um, and then next I'm going to use my square wash brush and I'm going to kind of create circular motions throughout the canvas so that it kind of looks like a storm is circling around the anchor. painted. Um, while it's still wet, if I try to do layers to do my circular motion over the canvas, because it's still wet, we'll actually start to pull the old paint out as, because it hasn't completely dried. So I'm going to wait for this to dry for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the circular motions over it. And I'm going to try to avoid the letters. I'm going to try to blend slightly as to where the letters are so that the color kind of blends. Um, but I do want a variation between dark blue, teal blue, aqua, light blue. 